comes inside our own. You know, evil don't have boundary. If you are alive today, tomorrow when you come, don't cry you. Mm. But for me, nothing will make me. I said nothing will make me to drop the case. Nothing. Until nothing. Until court jail me for killing people, or trauma will face the consequence. I, I help people that want to leave to leave. If you want to die, I help you to die to yourself. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please, please subscribe. For returning subscribers, you guys are the real MVP. Thank you so much for always coming back. You know, if you're on Facebook or any social media platform, you know that this story, it's been on for a while and this is my honest view about it. This lady that is crying, her name is Chomo Kole Jr. She said she's an influencer on Facebook and she said she went to the market to buy this product and the product was tasting of sugar and she made other statements which led to the company arresting her and she has been detained and the man is the owner of the company mr erisco is demanding for a lot he's demanding as much as five billion okay let's dive into how it started she said i went to the market to buy tin tomatoes yesterday that i will use to make stew i didn't see sugar uh, i didn't see gino or sonia so i decided to buy this one when i opened it I decided to taste it. Oh, the sugar is just too much. Ha, Biko, let me know if you've used it. This is the tin tomatoes. Before, because it's an Ikeguro situation. So, you know, the sibling of the owner of the place now said, Stop spoiling my brother's product. If you don't like it, use another one. Then bring it on social media. Or you call the customer service Erico Foods Limited. She now said, I don't use sugar, ne. We use honey, but let it know that I have moved past this product. Please do the same. Help me advise your brother to stop killing people with his product. Yesterday was my first time of using it, and it's pure sugar. So, the another person now said, another user entirely, her name is Amaka Love, now said, My sister, thanks for updating us. That is it. So, another person now said, This is it, though. This is the this is like an event full of events so one guy announced one guy don't cash don't cash now said it is only the people that knows that their product is bad that does it if the product is actually good they will be open to constructive criticism and even ask you about your observation and the people and how more they can improve on it i am sure they only paid enough that no inspection at all please can we spoil the product she now said done already bros you always end your comments with a comic question do you get can we spoil the product how do you if you're giving a review is it to spoil it what's the intention because people are saying that this case is a case between the rich and the poor that if the lady was a rich person that the man would not have arrested her that this is against her freedom of speech even some people are protesting that they should release her because she's you know she jumped bail and the rest of it and they went to go arrest her they said she wrote an apology letter to the company they say okay put it up on your facebook that this is why i am writing this up she went put it up on her facebook and later removed it and is this girl that started when this case started she said that if they will go to court let them go to court now the case is in court and she's crying the thing is that you know, since Facebook started paying, people do a lot of things to for engagement and the rest of it. I'm not saying this product is good. I'm not saying this product is not good. What I'm saying is that what when you're giving a constructive criticism, to spoil the product will never be on your mind. Spoiling someone's product. Because according to the story, this company has been in Nigeria since 2010. So it's not a new company. And they have over 4,000 workers over four thousand workers i'm not supporting them i'm saying that what is a product review product review is a feedback or opinion of a customer had on a specific product and the items that they purchase from a brand and that feedback will include the advantage and disadvantage and it's that feedback that thing that you're writing you have to grade it you don't just put uh, take something and start talking because you have the influence because you can talk to people you say using a grading system using tables that are appropriate to measure that product that you tested it is not enough in a, enough a reason for you to say that the product is killing someone that is my own take and again now 
people are protesting, people are saying it's against freedom of speech, people are saying one thing or the other that the man is um that the man is uh, is oppressing her because she's poor. This is not against any freedom of speech. This is like people that are making statements that are not verified because according to the man, the man said it's in his tomato mix. That is like jam, it's like ketchup. Do you know? So that means you're not even as, as supposed to cook with it. So first of all, she didn't even read the instruction. She bought something that she thought was tomato paste, not knowing it's tomato mix that you you don't even cook with it. You just do like jam, eat it with jam and the rest of it. And now she has entered into a lot of trouble. In as much as some Nigerians are supporting her, but my own take is that you don't know what it means, what it means to do a business successfully in Nigeria for over ten over since two thousand and ten. You don't know what it means to do a business in Nigeria. So before you support her or before you support the man, check the indices that I've listed. What was her intent of saying that the product is killing somebody? Where did she get the analysis? Where did she get the analysis that the product is killing people? And how many people has the product killed? And when she was saying she, they would let them bring the product down, what was her intent? If you're giving a product review, bringing the product down should not even be the number 10 thing that you're bringing it would have been when the uh, co- the 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 company say no 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 this is that this is this. then that's when you now say okay let's bring this product down but the company this is what the, com- the company now said official statement in response to a facebook publication on nijiko tomato mix one of the products of erisco food limited the attention of erisco food limited has been drawn to facebook post by one choma ego the junior on september 17th 2023, mm-hmm. alleging that the Nico, uh, Najiko tomato mix, one of our three tomato paste variants of Erico's Food Limited, contains an unhealthy amount of sugar and therefore not fit for human consumption. Why this claim is untrue and unfounded in its entirety, we wish to put the record that Erico Food from inception is built on vision and mission to manufacture and promote healthy homemade in Nigeria tomato products with the commitment to feeding not only Nigerians but also Africans with healthy food. Our initial reaction was to ignore and disregard the post which was obviously intended to mislead our esteemed customers and and discredit the image of Erisco Food Limited as previously instigated by some elements and syndicates that are uncomfortable with our increasing marketing dominance as a leading indigenous manufacturer of 100% natural tomato paste. Mm-hmm. Considering, considering, however, the Erisco Food Limited has built a reputation as a credible organization committed to due process and good, and the good of humanity, we have decided to bring the, this said publication to the attention of relevant authority. In light of the above, we wish to reiterate that Erisco Food is solely committed to the production of healthy tomato products including other products that have full regulatory stamp and approval of NAVDAC and Standard Organization of Nigeria. While we recognize the rights of our customers to make genuine observation of our products, we want, we want to thank our esteemed customers for their continued patronage of Erisco Food Limited. However, having built our reputation on healthy and quality products, which have earned us both local and international awards, including National Productivity order of the merits award we will take necessary actions against any malicious attack on our reputation signed management that is after putting this up that is when they took the action against her to bring her so that she can bring the people that the product has killed as soon as she just left her review that it was full of sugar without including that the product is killing people and i know this thing would not have gone this far this is what navdak has to say now that now that said the product is not yet on our database due to the significant backlog we are actively updating the registered product back dates and are addressing the backlog the formulation of tomato paste and ketchup product with sugar is safe for con is safe for consumption sugar is added to products for numbers of reasons including preservation improving the texture and